Welcome to Let's Calculate Something. Today we have an interesting geometry problem. Uh, we're going to try to figure out what the shaded area is here. And that shaded area is represented by a circle inscribed within a hexagon. And so there's some new formulas that we're going to introduce. They were actually new to me as I learned and looked up this problem um, that I'd never used before. So I'll share what they are for, uh, real shortly here and we'll, we'll figure out how to solve this one. Okay? So, what I learned was there is a, for any regular polygon, and regular means all the sides are the same, uh, same length, and the angles are the same. Um, for that regular polygon, there is a dimension here called the apothem, and the apothem is the center of the polygon, the distance from the center of the polygon, perpendicular to one of the edges of the polygon. So that's the apothem. And then the area of a regular polygon is one-half the apothem times the perimeter of the polygon. In this case, we have a hexagon, and so the perimeter is going to be 6 times s. Okay? So what we have to do is we've got to find out what the area of the hexagon is. Area of hexagon. Subtract the area of the circle. And that will give us the area of the shaded region. Okay? So, let's start with the area of the hexagon. We already know that the area of the circle is going to be pi r squared. That's easy. But the area of the hexagon is going to be a little tricky. So, let's look into that. So, I think to solve this, what we need to do is we have to draw a line from here down to, to this um, portion. And if we draw another line here, um, that, oh, I'm sorry, let's not do that. Let's draw it here. All right? That's not a radius of 2. We don't know what the radius is. The radius of 2 only goes out to the edge of the circle, but we're going to, the, to one of the vertexes of the polygon. So we don't know what that radius is, but we can figure it out. Um, we do know that this represents one-sixth of the circle. And we do know also that the circle is 360 degrees, right? So we know that this angle right here, we'll call it theta, equals 60. Okay? So that's a little geometry we have there. So then we know half this angle, because this is the bisector, that this angle is 30. So one-half of theta equals 30. Okay, so we have those two facts. Now, let's use that in a little trigonometry, and then we can figure out what this r value is, and then we can figure out what this value is here, which is, we know this piece here is s, so we know this distance right here is 1 half s. So once we figure out s, then we can figure out p. Then we know the apoth we, we know the apothem is two. Then we can we have everything we need to solve the problem. So let's draw this down here, like this. Okay, we know that this is a right angle. Sorry, we know this is a right angle. We know this is thirty, and we know this is two. What we want to find out is this one here, which is one-half s. So, if this is 2, and this is 30, then sine, then um, tangent of 30 is going to equal opposite over adjacent. So, tangent of 30 degrees equals one-half s divided by 2. So 2 tangent 30 equals 1 half s and then 4 tangent 30 equals s. And if you do uh, if you do that math, tangent of 30 is 0.577. And that's times 4, that equals s, and s equals 2.31. So 
So that's important. We'll hang on to that. But now that we know that, we can figure out the perimeter. We can figure out the area of the hexagon. We know the area of the circle. We're almost home. So let's plug it in. So this is going to equal the area of the hexagon, which is 1 half times 2 times the perimeter, which equals 6 times S. Minus, minus the area of the circle. The area of the circle is pi times 2 squared. So this would cancel. So we get 6 times 2.31 minus 4 pi. And that equals 13. Point eight five minus four pi, and if you do the math, it equals one point two nine, and that's our answer. So, by learning a new formula for the area of a regular polygon using the apophthegm, using the perimeter using a little bit of trig to figure out what that edge is, which was half the side. Once we knew the side, if we knew this piece, we could double it. Then we could multiply it by the number of sides, which was six. And we were able to subtract out the area of the circle. And it's a pretty simple problem. That's our answer. Um, please, if you got something out of this, uh, this video, uh, please like it. And then give us some comments and feedback, suggest some different problems. But make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button on our, our channel. And we'll be putting up lots more videos and lots of the different topics for math. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.